President. Senator from Florida. Madam President, uh, so many are still grieving from the atrocious killing of 17 people in the high school in Florida. Uh, indeed, our entire state is grieving. Broward County is grieving. Parkland is grieving. I think you're going to find on March the 24th in the rallies and the marches that will occur in 500 cities around this country and will have a focus of the main one in Washington, I think you're going to find that a lot of people are grieving because a lot of people all across this country have been touched by these massacres that continue to occur starting over almost three decades ago in Columbine, in Colorado. We've certainly had our fill of it in Florida just in the last two years. 49 people gunned down with an assault rifle, a Sig Sauer MCX at the Pulse nightclub. Another uh, assault pistol gunning down five people in the Fort Lauderdale Airport, and now an AR-15 gunning down 17, and he would have gotten a lot more had he been able to open the third story window overlooking the courtyard from a perch as the students fled across the courtyard to get out of the schoolyard. He couldn't get the window open. He tried to shoot it open, but it was hurricane-proof glass, and it only shattered. It didn't break. And now it's been almost one month since the tragic shooting. Fourteen of the 17 are students, three adults. Those 17 families are certainly grieving, and we've seen in the last few weeks many of the parents, the students, the families, the community leaders stand up to say that enough is enough, and they're asking us, the U.S. Congress, to enact meaningful legislation to reduce gun violence. So the action starts in Tallahassee, and the students go up there while the state legislature is still in session. They talk about common sense solutions, such as enacting a universal background check in the purchase of a gun. Don't let there be a gun show loophole or a private transaction loophole. Don't let there be an order on the internet loophole. Universal background checks that would bring in mental problems, that would bring in, if you've been on the terrorist watch list, that would bring in, of course, a criminal record, but also a mentally adjudicated records. Universal background checks in the acquisition of a gun, particularly an assault rifle. But we can't get that passed here because some folks aren't listening. Take, for example, what was said in the White House just last night. Giving in to the will of the NRA, it announced that it would provide federal funding for firearms training for teachers and other school personnel. Well, Madam President, this senator thinks that arming teachers is a terrible idea. It's not what the students are asking for. It's not what the teachers are asking for. It's not what the American people want us to do. 
And just last week, the Florida legislature passed and the governor signed into law a bill, a watered down version, but it still is arming school personnel. And it falls short on what is really needed to reduce gun violence and especially the massacres that are occurring. While what Florida has done is a step in the right direction, particularly with regard to mandating three-day waiting periods in the purchase of an assault rifle, we're far from where we need to be in addressing gun violence if we're talking about putting more guns in our schools and if, as the president suggested last night, that we arm teachers. The teachers don't want it. And I can tell you who else doesn't want it. The SWAT teams that have to storm the building looking for the shooter, they don't want to encounter a teacher with a gun and mistakenly think that's the shooter. It's common sense. What studies do the supporters of this idea cite suggesting that arming teachers will reduce gun violence at schools? And why even propose the solution before seeing what policy proposals a new federal commission that has now been developed, a commission on school safety, why don't we at least see what they're proposing? No, what this is, is to sell more guns. And to sell more guns by arming teachers. Well, of course, I've spoken to many teachers, students, families. I haven't found one person that wants teachers to be armed, including the teachers themselves. They're near universal agreement that arming teachers is a terrible idea. And yet, such an idea continues to direct Congress' attention away from the obvious and common sense solutions supported by most Americans, which is universal background checks and get the assault rifles and the banana clips that have 30 rounds Get it off the streets. Now, I've supported several bipartisan bills, some with my colleague from Florida, Senator Rubio, that address these background check issues and seek to make sure that our schools have the resources to keep our students safe. Senator Rubio, Senator Rubio and I announced last week that if there are red flags, they need to be brought to the attention of law enforcement. And we're offering in our bill a federal incentive program to the states to get those red flags about a problem person to the authorities before it's too late. But ideas like arming teachers, putting more guns in our school, they're just plain dangerous. Mr. President, I know you've backed off of certain things because the NRA wanted you to, and I know you are now proposing arming teachers. Let's get down to some real common sense solutions. Let's work on how you prevent those assault weapons from getting into the wrong hands and stop the massacres that continue to plague this country. The people of America want no less. Mr. President, I yield the floor.